It should come as no surprise that the prices of Valentine's Day flowers, they're up as well this year. And in some parts of the country, long stem roses cost twice as much as they did last year. Consumer reporter John Matteris shows us three ways to save on Valentine's Day flowers. I would appreciate that. We did Adrian, Florence. The phones have been ringing nonstop at florists all week. What is a good phone number for you? But many romantics this year are getting a case of sticker shock when they find out the price of roses. Prices are a little higher. People are having trouble getting employees, getting people to work like every other business. So the prices are going to be a little higher. A dozen long stem red roses arranged in a vase are now up to $99 at many florists. $50 to $70 even in the grocery store. Floral manager Jackie Cheshire, though, says stores are working hard this Valentine's Day to offer more affordable arrangements, often using other flowers besides roses. Beautiful delphinium. And look at this. We have the blue hydrangeas along with orchids. So we'll have a very nice assortment of flowers. Now, if you have your heart set on roses, but the price of long stems are giving you sticker shock, Jackie says consider smaller, what are known as spray roses. They're often half the price. You'll find small roses for less than $25 a dozen in some places, but many shoppers still want those long stem reds. That's the classic, and they don't want to change from it. So Jackie says you may be able to save money on them, having them delivered on Saturday instead of Valentine's Day, or simply picking them up yourself. Matt Robinson's doing that because his anniversary and Valentine's Day fall at the same time. My uh, anniversary is tomorrow, so I'm picking up flowers today for that this afternoon. So consider mixed flowers and maybe deliver them yourself, and that way you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris.